This is one of the biggest updates Brawl Stars has ever gotten. Four and a half new brawlers, three new 5v5 game modes, an entirely new brawl pass, win streaks, new hypercharges for the most popular brawlers, tons of skins, and even some balance changes that I found. So buckle up, because I'm going to take you through it right now. Now, first off, the update should be arriving on December the 12th, but between now and then, I've got a bunch of sneak peeks showing you everything in the update in detail. So subscribe if you want to see everything early. Let's start off with all of the new brawlers that we're getting. Now, first off, on December the 14th, we are all getting the brand new Mythic Brawler Miko for free in your Brawl of Days gifts. Miko is completing the Brawlywood Trio with Gray and Lola. He's a boom mic holder, even though he thinks he's a star. At max level, Miko has 6,000 hit points, so the same as Jesse. That means that even though he's meant to get up close and personal, once he does, he's pretty fragile. But the trade-off is that he gets there in style and safety because his main attack, he leaps. Now, this leap can pass over walls, over water, and even over enemy attacks. Now, if you time things just right, you can jump over all your enemy shots and land on them, dealing 2,180 damage in a small area of effect. Now, this attack can deal splash damage as we see, but they have to be very tightly clumped up. There is something, however, that is very curious about him. He he has a third bar that slowly charges over what looks to be about five seconds. Now, the curious part is we don't know exactly what this does. No extra damage was dealt, no debuffs were placed on the target, but something is happening. Hold up, wait a minute, I just figured it out. Yes, this is me, almost a day later. When this bar is full and he attacks the next enemy, he will gain one ammo when he attacks them. You'll notice the bar is full and he has just over one ammo. When he lands on the target, he instantly gains one full ammo slot. Now my question is, does he steal it from the opponent or does he just gain one back? Uh, not sure yet, but at least now I know what this bar does. Mystery solved, back to the breakdown. Lastly, let's check out his super. Now, for his super, he leaps extremely high into the air and stays there about six seconds. While in the air, you can move around and you can see where he is going to land and the enemies do as well, so you'll know what area to avoid. But if you do get hit by it, then it deals 2,380 damage in a large area of effect about the size of Primo's Meteor Gadget. Now, it also deals a small amount of knockback and will interrupt any brawler it hits. All in all, Miko looks really fun and we will all get to experience the Miko Pocalypse on December the 14th, un unless the servers die like they did with Edgar. But if you thought Mika was unique, then our next brawler and the newest legendary is the Cat's Meow. Like, like literally, it's, it's a cat brawler and his name's Kit. Now you might recall that Kit has actually been teased in Brawl Stars dating way back. Kit's paw tracks have been seen a long time ago, and Kit is Shelly's cat. Now, not to get too deep into the lore, but suffice it to say that people have been speculating that Kit was coming for years now based off of these clues. Well, Kit is now finally here, and there are some really interesting mechanics here befitting a legendary brawler. Kit is the first brawler in a new trio. This is the Star Park Toon Trio, and Marzio said that it was a Meow Park, so perhaps we're going to see even more cat brawlers in the future. Dogs are better than cats. Just saying. Kit is classified as a support brawler and will be released on January the 4th, although you can get early access to him a week prior. And since he's a support brawler, it's not super surprising that he only has 5,240 hit points at max level. Now his shot is actually two separate ones. While in his normal form, he attacks by scratching in front of him in a cone shape. Now the range on his main attack is pretty short and only deals 1,000 damage at max level, which is pretty darn weak. But here is where it gets really nutty. With his super, Kit can do one of two things. First off, you can leap onto an enemy for a few seconds and you will unleash the inner feline inside of you and scratch the heck out of the enemy, dealing 1000 damage instantly plus another 500 damage over time. But more interestingly, you can leap on a teammate and they will carry you around. Kind of like how the pros carry me in game sometimes. Now while on their back, you cannot be targeted. You are invulnerable. Also, while you are there, you heal your teammate and you transform into a thrower and throw balls of yarn at people, dealing a whopping 4,000 damage per shot, and it's in a very small area of effect. If the person you are riding gets killed, then you will fall off of them and become vulnerable. Kit is very strong for sure as a thrower, but 
pretty weak as a melee brawler. But to help that out, his super charges automatically so you can actually leap on other brawlers pretty often. And this interesting mechanic is what causes him to be one and a half brawlers because he's a normal brawler in melee, but he also becomes a thrower. So he's not just one brawler. He's really kind of two that's really interesting. Now the last of all these brawlers are again kind of two brawlers in one their names are larry and lori and they will be coming in february and they are epic brawlers so they shouldn't be too hard to get now these twin brawlers join rt in the star park hub trio now larry is the main brawler that you will normally be playing he's a thrower and he chucks rolls of tickets that travel and explode now larry has 6800 health at max level which means he isn't like super tanky but for a thrower that's pretty darn good and for his main attack when he throws that roll of tickets it explodes once on contact in a small area and then just a moment later it explodes again in a larger radius dealing the same damage each time at 1680 damage each explosion now this is all pretty standard but when larry gets his super he calls in his brother lori and he functions as a normal bot that you would face off against that is if that bot was a robot with a shotgun now lori also has 6800 hit points they're twins after all and he deals 600 damage from a shotgun for each projectile that hits and it looks like he fires three at a time so up to 1800 damage per shot at close range now i think it's really cool that you're gonna have two very different brawlers in one package and i can't wait to try out the twins now of course you can't control lori but he's not like bruce who just like kind of walks in place towards a person he like moves around and shoots kind of like again like a normal bot that you would play in a match so that's the new brawlers but i'm personally way more excited for the next thing that i'm going to show you we are getting three different versions of a 5v5 game mode in brawl stars this is one of the most hyped things that i have seen come into the game in a long while and i'm really excited to show you guys the games now within the 5v5 mode there will be three different game modes that we're going to be trying out the first one is brawl ball now the big catch here is that the game goes from left to right instead of up and down the second thing to note is that the goals are huge which just means that's a really big place to put your balls. Now the second game mode is Wipeout, and this is pretty much exactly like you would think. It's just Wipeout, but with four bad randoms instead of the two you normally get. Now they mentioned that the kills needed to win have been increased, but they didn't tell us exactly how many. It's gonna be just be pure chaos, and I am here for it. And lastly, there is the 5v5 gym grab. Now, this was just a standard gym grab with 10 players. However, they said and showed that on some maps, there will not be one, but two gym mines so you can get gems spawning from both mines at the same time. I'm also gonna guess that you're probably gonna need more than 10 gems to start a countdown. Either way, I can't tell you how excited I am to try this out. Now, keeping it in December, we have a free Brawl of Days giveaway calendar. Now, you already know that you're getting Miko on the 14th, but it also looks like we're gonna be getting lots of other goodies on top of that. And one of those goodies is the newest Supercell Make Skin, Dark Angel Colt, which will be free on the 24th of December as well. It's got really sick skin because like these dark bullets and the animations, it's just super cool and we're getting it for free. That's awesome. And speaking of dark and super cool, the creature of the night will be getting a mythic gear. Now for a split second in the video, it showed the movement speed of his bats will be increased by 50%. So it's gonna be a lot easier to hit your targets with Mortis' super. And the last thing that we're gonna be getting in December is six brand new hypercharge. And of course, these will be accompanied by a hypercharged unleashed event where you can get one of these for free. These new hypercharges are for some of the most fan favorite brawlers out there. For Crow, when he uses his hypercharged super, his daggers will pierce targets as well as act like small boomerangs as they travel out and then back in dealing damage in both directions. Fangs is really cool as it will allow his super to travel through walls as well as leave a trail of popcorn in its path. This looks really strong and fun. For Leon's hypercharge, he will stay invisible even if he's attacking while in his super. Now what I wonder is that if he will show up at all, like the animation of shooting, then disappear again, or if like the ninja stars will just start appearing from the air. I don't know, I'm gonna have to just check that out from an enemy's perspective. For dynamite, he has tons of smaller dynamite that comes out from his main bomb, which looks absolutely insane. You will not want to be anywhere near when this bomb goes off. Plus, 
It just looks satisfying. For Edgar, he will get a big increase to his reload and his supercharge rate. And the new brawler Miko is also getting one that will change his super that when he lands, he will stun enemies for one and a half seconds if they get hit by a super. Now in January, the brand new Brawl Pass will arrive. And while we have gone over the details before, some small things have changed. So pay close attention. The Brawl Pass will no longer be purchasable for gems. It will be in-app purchases only. Now you will still be getting free gems from the free side of the pass, but now you'll be able to choose to spend them on whatever you like rather than save them only for the Brawl Pass every couple months. Now to compensate for this, they have buffed the free pass to give you about the same as you would have gotten before had you saved your gems and bought every other Brawl Pass. Now another big change is that the Brawl Pass is now monthly, so it's going to feel fresh every month rather than every two months. However, full updates and Brawl Talks will still only happen every two months. Now for the paid Brawl Pass, you're going to be getting everything on the free pass plus everything that you're seeing on screen right now, which includes double the daily tokens, which have now been renamed to XP, as well as some extra quests. You'll also be able to unlock any epic brawler you choose or a thousand credits instead. Now for the Brawl Pass Plus, you're gonna get everything in the free pass, everything in the paid Brawl Pass, as well as 20% of the Brawl Pass progress instantly, more resources, two extra color variations of the Brawl Pass skin, which they're calling skin chromas, as well as a title. Now I do have some issues with this from a free to play perspective, but if you want my full take on that, you can check out a video where I talked about that in length. Now for paying players, I see this as a huge win. Now it is going to cost you a little bit more, but in return, you get a lot of extra progression and cosmetics. And of course, if you decide to get the Brawl Pass, would love it if you use code LAX. Yeah, helps me out, helps my channel out, helps my family out, helps you out by knowing that you helped me out. Now, if you buy the Brawl Pass and then decide that you want to upgrade it to the Brawl Pass Plus, then that is something that you will be able to do. Now, the last bit that's changing here is that at the end of the pass, you're going to be getting star drops rather than standard static rewards. However, it is going to take more XP to get each one. Now, there's also a new feature called Win Streak. Now, they didn't go into detail, but it looks to be extra trophies gained for each match when you have a win streak going. How many trophies and how does it scale? Well, we don't know yet, but I will have that info for you real soon. Also a fun touch is that Shelly is getting a remodel. There are some fine details on her that have changed, like her clothes and her hair, but also I guess her injury finally healed on her face as her band-aid is gone. On the downside, it looks like she hurt her wrist and now that's all wrapped up. She can't stop getting hurt. They're also going to be changing the trophy road because they're gonna be putting some star drops in place like there we saw on tier 20. So if you're close to getting that, you have the decision, you might wanna hold off on picking that up. And now replays can finally be shared to your club so you can let everyone see how bad your four randoms were in 5v5. Now I also spotted some balance changes in the video too. These aren't official and I'll be getting a full list soon, but from the video, Bo looks to be getting his attack damage increase from 1200 at max level up to 1400. Nani is getting nerfed and her hit points are decreasing from 5200 down to 4800. Rosa is also getting a hit point nerf as we see her with 10,000 hit points instead of the 10,800 that she currently has in game. Also in one clip we see Pearl running forward and to me it looks like she's running at a normal speed rather than the slow speed that she normally does. It's hard to tell for sure, but that's what it looks like to me. And of course, we are going to be getting a bunch of brand new skins. Now, I'm gonna cover each one of them in great detail, covering their cost, their release date, and all the animations and upcoming sneak peeks, but let's take a look at it real quick, because some of them are really good. The new brawler Miko will be getting three skins. Now, we've got Grouch Miko, who, much like the Grinch, doesn't like the holiday season. Then there is the French-inspired Macaroon Miko. Or is it Macron? Mac you know what, you French guys, you can you can hate on me right now. I, I, I don't speak French, I don't know this word. And lastly, we have Wukong Miko coming in February, which looks absolutely amazing. Now the old Brawl Day skins will be returning and for a discount, as well as we are getting a new one called Santa Stew. Now he hands out some very questionable looking presents, but the model itself looks 
totally awesome. And of course, the second new Brawler kit will be getting some new skins as well. There's a 29 gym skin called Billy the Kit, which is like Billy the Kid. Then in February, he gets a Kit Boxer skin on the Brawl Pass, and if you get the Brawl Pass Plus, you'll get two color variations of it. Now for the really cool ones, the Star Toon skins. There is a Pinku Paulette, which is the waitress at a boba tea shop, which is an anime-styled skin for Colette, and will also come with two color variations. This one will be the Brawl Pass skin for this season. Then there is Final Boss Rico, which looks really awesome, and will be the Power League skin for the season. And then there is my favorite skin of all of them, and that is Toon Spike. He has like a really cool 2D styled animations. Like, check out that super. That's so cool. And the shots and the and the death animation. And then the model itself is 2D. So when he turns, it's like very jerky and kind of cool. It's very quirky, but it's an awesome skin. And to top that off, you get all the legendary stuff with it, like the pins and the sprays. And the pins look really cute too. Now the twin brawlers, Larry and Lori, are getting a skin too called the controllers. Then we have two recolored skins from old previous skins. We're going to have Antivirus 8-Bit and Ferocious Fang. And lastly, there are some other skins that just like don't fit into a group but are still super cool, like CCTV Poco. It's a new one that shows off the origins of Poco and while that one's really cool, El Quarterback is an American football player. Move 42, said Hut, Hut. There is Doll Jesse for Valentine's Day. W. Otis for celebrating Zeta winning the World Finals. Again. And then we have Flag Bear Piper, who's looking great as always. And then there's two skins for Frank. Red and Blue King Frank, which are Clash Royale inspired skins designed by Getty Core, the same guy who designed Horace Bow. And they're going to be available only from the Supercell store. Although they're not sure if those are going to make it into this update, but that's the plan. Now that was a lot of info, but come back tomorrow and I'll show you lots of gameplay. Peace out.